Angela, and I'm 26 years old, and I'm from Costa Rica. And I was I was born here. My mom brought me here when I was 13, so that was 13 years ago. And um, I really couldn't think of a really cool story to tell you, so I thought about sharing my experience when I moved to Oklahoma from Costa Rica. Um, my mother brought me and my sister in a uh, search for better opportunities. And um, I, I just remember being a, like a little girl just dreaming about moving here. And um, I always just, I grew up watching Hollywood movies and I always thought it would be really cool and fun to live here. And so um, I, would, I always had this picture in my head of what North America would be. So, um, I will never forget when she told us that we were going to move here. I thought it was, it was like the best day of my day, my life. And um, she brought us to Oklahoma, and um, it was a really dramatic change for me. I um, just the difference between Costa Rica and Oklahoma is like Costa Rica is full of mountains. It's a valley, so there's mountains everywhere, and there's nature all around and. Um, coming here was such a dramatic change because I just, I just remember like the weather <laughs> being so different and, um, you know, everyone always asks me, well, why did you end up in Oklahoma? Like, what brought you here? Well, my mom, my mom brought us here and um, she already has siblings that lived here, so it kind of helped us kind of get a, a start. And so um, we just kind of ended up staying here. And I really wanted to learn English. So um, I, you know, I was really kind of tired of moving and because we used to move around all the time back home. So I was just like, Mom, let's just stay here, you know. I just want to stay in high school here and I want to learn English. So I, um, so we just kind of ended up staying here. And um, I'll never forget my first winter here in Oklahoma. And I know winters here are not as bad as like Chicago or some other states up north, but for me it was such a diff like such a dramatic change because I never felt that much coldness in my life. <laughs> and um, we kind of moved here in the month of October and um, it was already getting kind of cold. And um, but a month after that we had a really huge ice storm that lasted like two weeks long and everything like most of the city was frozen like I, there was trees frozen like there was no water people were out of electricity and we were without water and electricity and I just thought it was like the, the world was coming to an end like I just I was so freaked out I was like what is going on <laughs> and um, it was kind of like that have, has anyone anyone seen that movie the day after tomorrow where everything freezes and people die <laughs> I was just like what is going on <laughs> um, but um you know I just you know I kind of after mommy I'm still here 13 years later and I'm still not used to it I'm not used to the cold weather but I am I'm here <laughs> um, Another dramatic change was um, I when I moved here and I didn't see a lot of people outside and um, back home everyone walks everybody takes the bus everybody takes the cab and for me it was really weird not to see people walking and stuff and I, I thought it was just really weird because back home it's a luxury to have a car not a necessity and here it seems like it's a necessity, but I understand it's because everything's really spread out and people really need to like, you know, drive and get to where we need to go. So for me that was, that was very different. Um, on a more positive note, um, my, my, one of my first really fun experiences here in America, North America was when my mom took me and my younger sister to our first American store, and that was the Dollar Tree. And I know it sounds kind of lame, but back in Costa Rica, we don't have a Dollar Tree. We don't have dollar stores. And she said, everything here is a dollar. So um, 
she gave me and my sister ten dollars and she said you can buy ten things with this and I was like oh my god this is so cool <laughs> I was in heaven I was like this is awesome there was like stuffed bears and toys and all kinds of stuff and I was like this is so crazy so I got like my ten items and then I get to the register register and the, uh, the lady's like waiting up our, our things. And then when it's time to pay, she's like, okay, it's like, I don't know, it's like $2 more or something like that after tax. And I, w I didn't really get that. I was like, what's, what do you mean? Isn't it $10? I don't know, we have 10 <laughs> things. And she's like, no, well, taxes. And I was like, what's taxes? <laughs> I didn't understand what that was. Because back in Costa Rica, everything is already included in the prize, so you don't really have taxes there. Like taxes are kind of included, so everything is what you see, like the prize you see. And here it was different, and you kind of have to kind of do the math in your head. And to me, that was so different, and I was just like, oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> but you know, and the whole tax thing over here it was it was it was. You know, it took me time to get used to it. Um, um, and um, just to kind of end this, I just want to say that I'm very fortunate that, um, you know, I love Oklahoma. I've been here 13 years, and um, I'm really thankful that I have my citizenship. And that was um, thanks to my uh, father-in-law that he kind of, he adopted us, me and my sister give us our last name, and I didn't really realize how how good it is to have your citizenship until I started making friends that didn't have their legal status, and um, because they can't really go back home and see their family or their friends because they wouldn't be able to get back, so I just couldn't imagine not being able to go back home and see my family and friends. So I'm really thankful that um, I have that, and you know, Costa Rica will always be my first home, but Oklahoma has always become my home, and I do plan to further and pursue my dreams and my education, and I'm thankful that I get to do that. And that's it.